My mother loves to dance. She's sociable. Eccentric. Confident. And proud. I hate dancing. I'm socially awkward. I'm quiet. And I hate being the center of attention. My daughter, on the other hand, she loves to dance. She's the center of attention and the apple of my mother's eye. I wish I was more like my mother. did you first start dancing? I was nine years old when I first started um, dance classes. Before that I used to dance with my dad. Um, yeah, what they, what they called uh, a social gatherings in the village hall. Yeah, and then when I was nine I was allowed to go to dance class because a local lady disqualified and um, yeah, I went on a lot to her classes. She ended up being one of my examiners for one of my professional exams, which was really nice when I took my associate ballroom. She examined me, so that was really nice. What do you like best about dancing? Well, over the years that has changed. Um, I used to dance for pleasure. Uh, so, you know, it was a form of escape, you know, you could uh, 
get lost, get lost in what you were doing. And then it became a bit more serious when I wanted to take exams and then um, and then we got into competitions and uh, that was really exciting. And, and now, um, now I'm professional. Uh, it's, it's a different, it's a different kind of love. Yeah, I still love to dance, but I do like to see people developing. Um, they start from nothing, you know, struggling to put one foot in front of the other, and then, and then it, it all comes together, and they just, uh, yeah, and the joy in their faces, it's just, yeah, that gives me great pleasure. Um, what about shoes? Obviously, you get to wear a lot of different shoes for dancing. What, what would you be your favourite pair of shoes to dance in? The ones I've got on. I love these. These are called saddlebacks. Uh, very, very soft leather. They haven't got a suede sole. Um, it's just, uh, I don't know what it is, man-made. But it's very slippy. So when, when, when you go out rock and rolling, you don't always get to dance on a lovely dance floor. Mm. So your, your suede bottom shoes get spoiled a bit. So these kind of shoes you can wear on any surface. Um, you wouldn't go out walking in them, but you can dance them on any surface. Which is, which is what I like about them. Yeah. Are we ready, Mummy? I'm ready, Mummy. Yeah, ready now. Give me your foot then. No. Do you want to put your ballet shoes on? No. Yes. You've got to put ballet shoes on for dancing. Got to show Mummy. <laughs> put that one in there, like that. That's my girl. That's mm -hmm. my girl. And let's have that one there, like that then. We look at pie, your belly. In yeah, your belly shoes. Yeah. Okay, there we are. Daddy, mommy, daddy. Are you ready? Yeah. You can do some ballet. Come on, stand up then, look in the mirror and show Nana what you do at ballet. Show Nana. Show me, show me your feet. Show me what your feet. Oh. Well, you don't jump around. Ballet dancers don't plonk. like to do in your spare time as a hobby? As a hobby? Oh, mm. Sewing. I make a lot of things. I'm always altering things. Um, I like to go shopping as most of my family know <laughs> and I love to trawl the charity shops looking for that piece of vintage gorgeousness and quite often it doesn't come in your size so I take it home, I alter it, make it a, a unique piece to me um, okay, so what's your favourite dance? Uh, the foxtrot. Because the music is beautiful and it glides around the room. As, as, as dancing as, as uh, a man or as a lady, it's just lovely, lovely feeling. Lovely, beautiful steps, beautiful music. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What's your favourite dancing dress? Can you describe it? Mm, well, it'd have to be rock and roll, really, yeah. Um, since we started going out, it's just socially dancing rock and roll to bands and getting involved in the whole uh, 50s, 40s, 60s eras. And, uh, yeah, I kind of live my whole life that way now. And, uh, um, yeah, I like... I like I like to wear 50s clothes in the summer and 40s clothes in the winter. And um, to dance in, yeah, I'd say probably 40s gives you the, you've got the nice feel of the floaty dresses. I don't want to cumbersome petticoats underneath. Mm. 
So is that fifties? This is fifties, yeah. So when you when you turn around, you get bird's eye view of the petticoat, which um, yeah, is really quite light. But after you've been dancing for a while, it gets very heavy and hot. <laughs> you describe my dancing and what dancing did I used to do <laughs> well you, you used to come with your brother um, at one point all four of you were dancing in the same class I think that carried on for quite a long time till the boys got to like teenage years and then their friends found out and uh, that was the end of ballroom dancing but yeah you did ballroom you did Latin you did rock and roll you did freestyle you used to like all the freestyle stuff um, with Mary um, and then you used to come to the dancer size class when you were a bit older. Um, and you did that till you were about 16, 17 maybe? 16 I think, before you went off to Australia. I'm not sure you really liked it, <laughs> but um, you had good rhythm and, and yeah, you, <laughs> you could have been a lot better, but you weren't that keen, no. Yeah. You did it because I asked you to, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that sums it up well. Is that, is that all finished? Yeah, all done. All done. All done. We can go home now. Say bye-bye. <coughs> oh, say bye-bye. <laughs> bye-bye, dinosaur. See you again soon. Now just walk off that way. Okay.